motivated on a Monday morning, but staying motivated is the issue. And here we have just the inspiration. Hello. Oh that Hi, looked Julie. so intense. I, I caught a sweat just watching you guys, oh, rather you fun, than yeah. me. <laughs> <laughs> With Hi. us is life coach Warren Munitz from Integrative Life Coaching to discuss how to stay motivated when training and dieting. Hi, Hi, Warren. Hi, Warren. Thanks for having me. Staying motivated is definitely not the easiest thing. I know for me, when I, you know, first few days of exercising, I'm all gun ho and then yeah, exactly. it just falls yeah. flat. M when motivation is, is outside of ourselves, when it's a, a goal, when we only focus on the goal, then it will fall flat because nothing in our philosophy is, is tied into that, into that as a value. But aren't we meant to be goal oriented? <clears throat> a goal gives us a direction, but the whole idea of that direction is who we become from that. So your, if, if your philosophy is based internally on becoming the, a better version of you, always evolving, then having the goal is just kind of giving you, okay, it, it's in that direction, but it's not about the goal. I mean, it's like if you ran a marathon and you did 50 kilometers, but the marathon actually was 51 kilometers. That would be a kilometers. miracle, not even a marathon. <laughs> so it's more sustainable when it becomes a value system. Yeah, or completely. Part of your value system. Yeah, motivation is short-lived. So we can be motivated and great, I'll do this. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to wake up on Monday and I'm, I'm going to do exercise every day. Mm -hmm. And you wake up on Monday and how do you feel? I'll do it tomorrow. Mm. Wow. Well, today's the day. <laughs> today's a good start. Right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so the more you focus on your philosophy of life, Mm -hmm. and becoming the best version of you, the better chance you have of maintaining your exercise wow. and your diet. So what tips can you give us then just to, to keep us on track along the way? It's challenging. It's not. It's because tips, tips is the same idea as motivation. It's okay. outside of you. Mm. So it's, a, it's, a, it's a changing your philosophy. It's a whole journey. You have to begin by becoming self-aware, right. by, by reflecting on how do you feel? because often we choose a behavior to avoid a feeling. Wow, I was about to ask you, why do we cheat when we know it's bad for us? Right, what so... What is that destructive cheating cycle? Cheating on, on, yeah, on, on, on what we eat. So yes. we know that we shouldn't have three pizzas tonight. Right. One is, or one slice is okay. But the feeling that we have, the uncomfortable feeling that we have, ends up driving our behavior so that we eat to the point where that feeling of being satisfied then suppresses this uncomfortable feeling of oh, yeah. I don't feel good or I'm feeling insecure or whatever the case is. Oh, yeah. But then the next time, your unconscious is trying to get you to become aware of that feeling. Oh. So the next time, it's going to become more intense, then you'll eat more. Oh. And That makes so much sense because I'll be on this great trajectory and I'll be doing so well and then something will upset me and then I'll suddenly think it's okay to just binge on chocolate cake and just feel sorry for myself because it's, right. under, it's understandable. Right. Yeah. So whether, whether, it, whether it's food that we choose to avoid how we're feeling or we end up sleeping too little or oh. sleeping too much or working too hard or not exercising, whatever we're going to do, it, we're going to try and do to avoid that feeling. So that we, we don't like pain. We seek, rather seek pleasure. But the more comfortable we can, come, we can become to accepting that uncomfortable feeling as reality, because it is reality. I mean, when you wake up in the morning, do you feel amazing? Wow. It's difficult. Yeah. You wake up, we have to brush our teeth, we have to shower, we've got stuff to do. So it, it, there's a level of pain. I mean, it's not pain like someone stabbing us, but sure. there's a level of pain. So the more comfortable we can become with feeling Un uncomfortable, the less likely we are to avoid those things that are good for us. Because sometimes things that are good for us don't necessarily feel good. It's Exercise feels good afterwards. Yes. Yeah. Not while you're doing it. Yeah. But Especially don't you think, Bikram. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but don't you think nowadays we have quite a false sense of reality? If you look at social media and media in general, there's always somebody that's more beautiful than you and we, we flooded by all these images of right. what perfection is, right. that it's actually unrealistic to try and keep up to that. And wow. degrading. Yeah. Oh. So as the moment we start to externalize, we do that from childhood, it's part of our, 
our psychological development. But at some point as adults, we need to start focusing back in and not keeping the goal outside, not keeping the self-image outside, but making you the priority. Because the, the more you focus on who you truly are, the less you're comparing. Because yeah. you can't wow. really compare you to you to you to anyone. Mm. You're unique. Yeah. Uniquely unique. I'm coming to you for life coaching. Sure. I know, That's Warren Minutes, thank you so much for chatting to us. <laughs> Actually, just being in your space is quite cathartic. Yes. I feel so relaxed <laughs> now chatting to you. I'm so zen after you. You really are very calming. Thank you so much for You're coming welcome. in and chatting thank to us. Thank you for having me. Coming up after the break, we go and tuck into a rack of lamb and we discuss Man Crush Monday.